Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. A patient is due to undergo a right hemicolectomy for carcinoma of the cecum. Which of the following vessels will uh, require a high ligation to provide optimal oncological control? So in this question, they uh, uh, inform that the during the right hemicolectomy, which vessels require high ligation and it was done due to carcinoma of the cecum. Here are the options. So the options are middle colical artery, inferior mesenteric artery, superior mesenteric artery, ileocolic artery and none of the above. So here first of all we can see this is the cecum ascending colon then this part is the transverse colon descending colon sigmoid colon rectum and anal canal. So in the cecum if there is any carcinoma in the cecum this may spread through these area that means the lymphatics they are usually present along the blood vessels so for this uh, to prevent a spread uh, we have to ligate the blood vessel up to this up to this so in this picture we can see this is the cecum and the cecum is uh, supplied by the ileocolic artery and from the ileocolic artery there is a branch called appendix called the ileal artery ileocecal artery uh, and from these branches from there branch arises and it supplies the cecum and also appendicular artery which supplies the appendix so uh, uh, for uh, complete removal we have to uh, ligate the blood vessel as much as above so here we can see this is the cecum and it is supplied by this artery which is the ileocolic artery it is the ileocolic artery so we have to ligate up to this to prevent the tumor spread because the lymphatic are present in this area this area there is area and so the spread through it so our final answer is now the ileocolic artery we have to ligate the ileocolic artery for during the right hemicolectomy due to carcinoma cecum to prevent the spread of the carcinoma into the other parts of the body thank you all